The demographics within the Jefferson County Public Schools have profound implications for all levels and functions of our school system to create welcoming and equitable learning environments for students and their families District staff must create a culture that affirms through its practices that all students are equally capable of learning at high levels. As our district faces rapid demographic change, we need to re-examine everything we're doing. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, continuing with business as usual will mean failure or mediocrity for too many of our students, as data from the National Center for Education Statistics related to racial, cultural, linguistic, and economic achievement gaps demonstrate. Our focus on cultivating cultural competence is designed to help schools develop strategies that will improve school climate and culture to maximize instruction and student achievement. In order to ensure systematic development and long-term sustainability, we will focus on embedding cultural competence in everything we do to develop leadership capacity within our schools and administrative offices. This video is the first of a series of district-wide initiatives that will focus attention on the important concepts and practices of cultural competence. As Dr. James A. Banks, professor in the College of Education at the University of Washington, Seattle argues, adults in schools need to acquire new skills, knowledge, and attitudes that will enable them to effectively relate and educate all students in multicultural and multiracial settings. After all, today's students are the leaders and workers of tomorrow. Cultural competence is an integral part of our teaching competencies and core practices necessary to build great classrooms throughout JCPS. And cultural competence is foundational to our administrative goals and strategies. In Dr. Gary Orfield's proposal on the district student assignment plan, he suggests tying staff development strongly to enhancing the academic gains within diverse schools. Desegregation, properly done, is a powerful educational reform. He also recommends that the potential academic benefits can be enhanced by giving teachers and principals the opportunities to master research-based techniques and build productive interpersonal relationships across student subgroups. However, my hope is that each of you will discover more ways to connect the core curriculum to what is important and unique about your students' worlds and life experiences. Each of our neighborhoods is unique and offers countless untold lessons that will resonate with students. Your choice of books, activities, and resources can reflect the heritage of our community. For example, a lesson about the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is valuable, but just think of how much more interesting the lesson becomes if you can link his work to that of the late Dr. Lyman T. Johnson, a local educator and former school board member whose civil rights accomplishments are evident right here in Louisville. I believe that as we begin to embed cultural competence in everything we do, it will provide a solid foundation to support caring and culturally responsive learning communities for all students. For certified employees, this means examining pedagogy and curriculum, as well as expectations and interaction patterns with students. It means looking honestly at outcome data and creating new strategies designed to serve the students current instruction is not reaching. For school leaders, this often means facing the limits of their own knowledge and skills and becoming co-learners with teachers to find ways to transform classroom practices. For classified employees, this means to acknowledge their powerful role in setting a welcoming tone and creating an inclusive climate for students, parents, and colleagues in school offices, lunchrooms, hallways, and on the playground. For bus drivers, this work means gaining cultural competence skills for managing their immense safety responsibilities while communicating clearly and compassionately across many languages and cultures on their buses.
This work will require a crucial paradigm shift in which teachers and other school professionals stop blaming students and their families for gaps in academic achievement. Instead of pointing fingers, I want all JCPS staff to place their energies where they will have the most impact in changing their own attitudes, beliefs, expectations, and practices. I want all JCPS staff to be committed to ensuring an equitable and respectful educational experience for every student. I want us to close the academic gaps by transforming the way we carry out instruction. As we become more responsive to diversity, we will create a more caring, culturally relevant, and responsive learning community. I want all JCPS staff to embrace our district's core value that the differences of each are assets of the whole. I believe that together we can go from good to great.